as always, thank you for watching. Today, we're moving on up a little bit. Mike is has his Class A CDL permit, and we're going to do some training. We have a school bus that they believe blew a serpentine belt while on a route this morning. Uh, it, they made it back to the school. We're just going to go grab it, bring it back here, and see if we can't figure out why the belt threw off and get her fixed. Okay, so we're at the school. I'll see if the bus will start and we'll get it pulled out so we can pull it from the rear instead of from the front. These flat nose buses are much easier to pull from the back. Unit number 10, our Peterbilt 337 with a 20 ton 40 24 century by Miller Industries. And bus number 10. How coincidental is that? All right, let's see. Yeah, she's, oh, she's still in the hot. Wait a minute. Yet, is she? Well, I don't know. At first it was, but it was still doing its sweep. Now it's cooled down enough where we ought to be able to. Got enough voltage. We're good there. You got to watch the swing out on these things. Do what? Got it, got it. Oh yeah. Okay, I got the wheel about as straight as it looks like it's gonna get. All right, you know what to do from here. I'll just kind of stand back and let you do it. No, Mike's not wearing high vis, but we're on a parking lot. We're not out on a roadway, so he's not required to wear high vis apparel. Best way for him to learn is, or for me anyway, best way to learn is to do it. So I just coach him if he needs it. What I always do is I look down the body lines on the mirrors yeah. and try to line them up with the body lines on the bus. That help, or whatever I'm towing, that helps get you centered with it. Well, fold her down and see where you're at. You can learn real quick once you get her folded down. Ain't gonna look too bad. I don't know if you'll have enough reach. You may have to come back a little more. But you might get it.
talk me through what you're doing. Those aren't the ones you want. Do you need you need the height on these because the uh, you have to raise the rear off the ground, the drives. It's a spring suspension, so you don't have to chain it up, but you could if you needed the extra clearance. This bus is short enough, you don't have to worry about the clearance though. That'll work. Yeah, they're on the other side. Is that the wide or the... Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. On this one, as long as you get get it on that crossbar as far out as you can without hitting the mounting bolts, you're good. Yep. And then, whoa, before you get any further, before you have it all the way up in the air, put your tie downs and your on it. That way you don't have it suspended. Since this one's got plenty of clearance, that way you're not under it. With it suspended, that is. Thinking ahead. I like it, I like it. I should have fun. Toss me one, I'll help. I didn't say it wouldn't help. You always help me. I just want to make sure that you know what you're doing and you get a good training. I usually of course everybody does it different. That's the way I do it. And then I also I'll take the breakaway and go here. So and you just, you just even out even out the excess here? Yep. Even off the School buses are fairly simple. You can wrap around the frame if you want, but get warm. Do what? Get warm out. Yep. Not supposed to be this warm for this time of year. All right. Now, there you go. Yep, get, get the wheel.
There you go. It might be a good spot. Yep. As long as it's on the base, not the not the raising part of the seat, you is good. You usually just hook it like this or do you loop it? I okay. Loop what, back itself. Here, what I well, what I do is I'll take here, I'll show you the first one, okay? Yeah. I take this and I'll drop it down on the outside. Gotcha. Like that. So that it's pulling down on this. Mm-hmm. And I'll uh, uh, hook it in there, and then you tighten, just snug that one up, and then you get the other one in the same position. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha, man. That's the way I do it. I mean, there's a there's a ton of ways you can do it. You can go to the back of the seat too if you want. I came over the top. Yep, just like. Over the top. Yep, just like that. You know it looks. When you look at it, it looks you know, like it's done something different, you know? <laughs> you just look at it. Well, the main thing is you want to keep the wheel straight. Yeah. And secure. Of course, you know not to go to the uh, the seat itself, the raising part. you mm -hmm. got to go to the base, something solid. Well, and I should have brought, brought me a pair of gloves. These gloves don't fit. Uh-oh. Uh, also, I took the, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but before I got out, I took the tilt wheel and I tilted yeah. it all the way down. Yep. yep. Right. Yeah, because I was stuck with something decided to go snoop. Yep. Yeah, they don't have to be super tight because you don't want to break the tilt part, but yeah, no. just enough or to keep it. Yep. Each other a little bit, so. Yep. Now, right, what's the out? what's the trick? Okay, never mind. You know. <laughs> you want out? Yep. You got to close that and go out the back door. Because you can't secure those doors from outside. Okay. Now what? I know what you're doing, but there, they're being used to hold the uh, wheel lift fork. Might be able to use a, a strap, ratchet strap. Yeah. May have to go that way. This back one's usually harder to secure anyway. Because it's longer, there's a further distance. Ooh, this style's a pain in the butt. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, this style's a pain. Usually they got a hole in okay. them to hook to. Go here, have to go up here somewhere. Yeah, Solid. Yep, there you go. Up over and right into that uh, window channel if the strap's long enough. Basically, what we're doing here is when you're towing the bus backwards, the wind catches the stop arms. And the stop arms have a motor that keeps them held in. Even when the bus isn't running, if these arms are trying to fold out, here I'll show you. Yeah. The motor automatically pulls it back in. So if you're towing this backwards and the wind's constantly pulling it, it drains the battery and it tears up the motor. So you've got to secure both stop arms or one stop arm depending on the age of the bus when towing it backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. This back one's a little more difficult. You might be able to go off the top and come down to here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really good. You can go from the top. No, here. Oh, up here. Okay. Yeah, go up here gotcha, gotcha. and then down. Just the way you did up there, only top to bottom instead of bottom to top. I had a hole over there. Look at you. Just look at the notch like that. Let me see what we got here. They don't need much. No, I don't. All right. You've got it. You're good. You're on the back side of that bolt there. 
just keep the... I'm just tied up where it don't bounce out. Yep. You feel comfortable with that? Yep. Okay. Two things left. What they be? Yes. Light bar lifted up in the air, and then final walk around. Oh yeah. Final walk around. Make sure you got everything ready to go. Everything safe. Light bar right there. There you go. Do I, Mike? You gotta remember some of the trucks are in different. Uh, yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're not all. I think I remember where. You're... Well, you don't run this truck that much, so you haven't learned where everything's at. Even when I switch trucks around, I don't always know exactly where everything's at. Actually, I know probably where everything is on the rotator better than any of Yeah, I know, because you help me. Helping you, yeah, helping you all the time. That's where I go, right there. You can work that crisscrossing or nothing? Yep. They'll hang right there, and then you take your bottom ones and wrap them around through here and back into that. I've done so many of these buses, I could probably do it in my sleep. Just branch through that same hole. There you go. Yeah, good enough. All right, light bar on. Raise it up to your towing height. Now there's a fine balance here on these between clearance on your drives dragging your and, front. and dragging your front, especially coming out of this driveway. So there's there's yeah there's a little bit of that's probably plenty right there. I bring the under each in. Since you're so far back, you don't have to worry about uh, swing so much. Bring it in so you've got a better uh, weight distribution. The closer you bring it in, the better your weight distribution is. There you go. Whoa, you can't suck it all the way in. Uh, it, it's different than the Vulcan. Yeah. The, yeah, there you go. You have to have this pushed out. The centuries you have to have pushed out at least yeah. an inch or so, so they'll pivot. The, the Vulcan has that pin. As long as that pin's out, you can suck it all the way in and it'll pivot. But now, final walk around, make sure all your chains are good, your hookups are good, safety yeah, chains. The, uh, the same as the, uh, the rollback. The rollbacks are the same way, you have to be pushed out before you pivot. Correct, yep. That is correct. Exactly the same as the rollback. Make sure doors are solid, lights are on, mirrors are solid. Kick the tires, make sure they're good. Yeah, somebody curbed it a little bit. It happens. Do you feel comfortable with this? Okay. This is your, you're not familiar with this yet. No. That's the Tomate monitor. I think you had it, but I didn't think yep. mess with it now. And give it a second to connect. This connects to the uh, wireless light bar. It says waiting for data. Whenever it connects, it will uh, tell you, it'll give you green that you're good to go. And then when you turn your turn signals your, or your brakes, it'll indicate it on, up. yeah, it's green right there. Um, gotcha. But it'll pop up that your left turn signal's on, your right turn signal's on, your brake is on. There you go, see, it's doing both. Stoplight, yep, there you go. Cool. Now it's giving you a low battery indicator, which may be a faulty reading. Sometimes this isn't exact. This is the older 
monitor. Mm -hmm. The newer monitors are a little better. Uh, this is one of the older ones. But the main thing about this is if it gets out of range, like if you mistakenly leave the uh, light bar on a vehicle that you dropped off somewhere other than the shop or even at the shop, it starts giving you a visible and an audible warning when you get out of range to let you know that, hey, I forgot that, I need to go back and get it. As long as you got this plugged in. As long as you got that plugged in, correct. Yeah, that, that, that's a fair point, fair point. Yes, you have to have that plugged in for it to work. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. Get this back to the shop. You, you did a fine job, no problems. You know how to drop it out. Get back to the shop and I'll go get that E50. I know they've been waiting on it. E50. That's a mini excavator. Oh, okay. E50. Uh, this one's, they said it, you couldn't get the semi into it. We were gonna send the uh, trailies with the heavier winch because that E50 is pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. But he said you can't get a semi in there. So they want me to get the roll back in there. I'll have to double or triple the lines to get that E50 up there. May even have to pull the uh, uh, planetaries on it like we did that track steer that we dug out of the woods uh, yeah. down in the mud hole. May have to pull the planetaries on Is that the one on. you were talking the other day that was uh, uh, not under power or whatnot? Correct. It, it does not run, has no power whatsoever, and it's a, a tracked E50, so I don't know if the bucket's dug in, I don't know if the blade's down, I don't know. It could be a pretty good mess. It could be quite a mess, yes. May end up being a bigger job than the rollback can handle. Not sure yet. I think as long as you're not on a big incline, and it's not dug down, Probably wouldn't have a problem to pop the, well, if you got to pop the plant you know. My hope is that it's on a downhill slope, so gravity helps me out some. Good there, just make sure to swing really wide. I'd go on the other side of that yeah. cone. Yeah. These little uh, concrete and steel <laughs> pylons, you can see. Somebody's hit them before. Mr. Bear falls over quite frequently. Doing good, doing good. Yeah, my own thing. This is really this is really the only dip that you have to worry about between here and the shop is right here. If you clear this uh, with the front end, you'll be fine the rest of the way. You clear traffic wise here. Yeah, I'm clear all well. That's why I come way down yonder, but... You're good. They can see me. They're far enough away, they can see me. You squeezed sure, by. Barely. Like I said, I've come out of that parking lot with buses before. <laughs> there, there's there. a very fine line between not high enough and too high. Either you, dra either you drag the drives or you drag the front end. I was waiting for it. I'm like, eh, it might just skim. I wish you'd have been in a place where you could have uh, helped me with that tater job the other day. Oh, yeah. Easier than I thought it would. Oh, the pictures, yeah, it looked like it was in here pretty good. I was afraid we were going to end up having to use the excavator they had on hand to uh, dead man off of.
you notice I didn't say anything about it because I do it too. Everybody's got their own method as long as they're not supposed to. This one you don't have to clutch every time. I know, I know they tell you to, to double clutch. But I float everything, except when I'm taking off and when I'm stopping. I, I float the gears on everything. That's just how I was taught. I need to. I know you need to. Just doing that. I need to make sure. Yep, you got to practice the way that you got to take the test. This older model sometimes it loses communications. We need to get an updated monitor. It still works, but it works. you drop it out. Yeah. You can drop it pretty well anywhere. It'll drive into the shop yeah, be, no further than it is. Be mobile. Like I said, it had cooled down. The uh, temp gauge was down in the normal range again, so just moving it from the lot into the shop won't hurt it. Got to be something that threw that belt fully locked up or something. Yeah, I would say probably. Yeah, I'll stop That's one thing I ain't good at is jumping into random gear. It, it'll come. You'll get there. If after so long it just becomes second nature, you don't even think about it, you just do it. Yeah, I didn't even know I got into gear on that one. Like I said, it just becomes second nature. I can switch between this, the Western Star, and the Rotator, and they're all different gear. This one's a 10, the Western Star's a 13, the uh, uh, Rotator's an 18. You know, within just a few minutes, I've got my yeah. bearings back, and I'm, I'm good to go. I may grind one or two here and there. We all do, but... Try to get that mini X. Yep, I'll just pull up here and let you out and I'll 
Good job, bub. Yep, yep. See, stop. It shows you got your brake on. All right. Good deal, bub. Yep, yep. Don't have too much fun. On to the next one. All right. Might get a fine job. Get that baby fixed and back on the road. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.